To create an assessment in Schoology, click the Add Materials button and then choose Add Assessment. Assessments are useful for anything from interactive practice activities to final exams, so there will be many behaviors you can adjust based on the purpose of your assessment. Give your assessment a title and enter a due date if desired. By default, student submissions are disabled. This allows instructors to set up the assessment and allows students to see it in their upcoming reminders, but it prevents students from actually being able to open, view, or take the assessment until the instructor formally opens it for submissions. If the assessment is a homework review activity rather than an official test, instructors can leave the submissions enabled. Instructors can also use the from and until options to set a window when the assessment will be open for student submissions. A password can be added for additional test security. If you enable a password, you will be prompted to create a password that is case sensitive. Choose a grading category for your assessment and adjust the grading period, factor, and scale as needed, or you can go with the defaults. The options allow you to individually assign the assessment to a group of students or an individual student in your class. The green dot controls whether the assessment is visible or not to students. Hiding or unpublishing it would be ideal in the case of a pop quiz. Enabling grade statistics will allow students to view data about the assessment like class average. Click Create when you're done. Now you need to determine behavior and toolbar settings for your assessment. This is a one-time setup and whatever settings you go with will stick when you reuse or copy this assessment. If instructions are needed before students open the assessment, you can enter them here. And you can decide if a time limit is appropriate and whether you want questions randomized. The assessment toolbar provides tools for students to use during the entire test. You can enable tools like a calculator, ruler, or protractor, and decide if students can eliminate answer choices and flag questions for review. If you enable a tool, it will be on for the entire test. So if you'd like a student to only have access to a calculator for certain questions, Leave it set as no here. You can enable a calculator for just one question or a couple of questions when you are creating those questions. Allowing students to highlight lets them mark up items on the test like keywords in the test question and a notepad lets them enter some notes for themselves or even frame out an outline. But their notes and highlights do not come through to you when the test is submitted. These are simply tools to support students while they are taking the assessment. Finally, decide if students can view their correct and incorrect answers immediately. It's often best to leave this set as no until all students have taken a test so that students in an earlier class cannot share test questions with those in later classes. You can always come back and change it to yes or yes with correct answers later. Finally, decide if students get one attempt or several and how their score will be determined if multiple attempts are allowed. When you are done, save your changes. Now move to the question tab where you can build the actual test questions. In this video, I will create a multiple choice question, but my other videos will explore some of the other question types you see here. Most of these are auto-graded, but some like short answer and audio video collection will need to be manually scored by the instructor. Click the question type you want to create and enter your question. You can adjust font size, color, and add pictures if you like. This icon with the musical note and a calculator lets you add a math tool just for this question, or you can upload or record audio or video, which is ideal if you would like to add verbal directions, which is what I'm going to do. I'll click record and click the microphone icon to record myself giving verbal directions in addition to the written ones I have provided for this test question. You can play back your recording to preview it, click cancel to redo it, or click OK to add it to the question. You can even customize the audio player style. I prefer the button option, but you can even upload a custom image to use as a player if you'd like to. Click OK when you're done. Now enter the possible answer choices. These can be text or images, and you can even use that same record tool to add audio or video as answer choices. I'll use images. And I can resize my image here by entering a pixel dimension. 
or I can simply add it and use the image anchors to adjust it once it's already in the answer blank. You can add or remove possible answers as needed. And reorder the answer choices if desired. Then scroll down to the correct answer setup and choose the correct answer. You can shuffle the options here so they're randomized for each student and each attempt. Or you can choose multiple responses if there's more than one correct answer. If that's the case, you'll also probably want to change the scoring type to partial match or partial credit so students get partial points if they get part but not all of the question correct. Standard layout shows the answers in a list, but you have additional layout options and you can even adjust the number of columns so that you can format the question just the way you like it. You can align your learning objectives and when you're done, click save. Here's where you can adjust the question points as needed. I paused the video and added a few more questions. You can preview questions individually by clicking on them and choosing preview. Or you can preview the entire assessment with this option. You can answer the questions, but your submission will not be saved or scored. To exit the preview, click the X, and to edit any of your questions, simply click on them and make changes. If you want to change the order of your questions, it's just a drag and a drop. And the Actions button also has an option to print your assessment if you need a paper copy. Now let me switch over to an assessment that students have taken to show you how the grading works. Student results can be viewed student by student or question by question. You click on a student name, it pulls up their entire test that you can preview and score if you want to. If you're in list view on the student view panel, it also lets you unsubmit or delete a student attempt, or you can essentially enter an attempt for the student, which is helpful if a student accommodation required a paper version of the test and you want to enter their answers to be saved and scored. Viewing by question is my preferred way to grade the assessment. It aggregates student performance by each question and puts any questions at the top that need to be manually scored by me. When I click on a question, I can see all of the student submissions for that question and I can enter results or override any auto graded question type scores. After you have finished entering scores for all manually scored test questions, the student's overall score for the assessment is calculated and those scores are sent to your Schoology gradebook. For information on creating other question types, check the resources link in this video description or view the other videos on my channel.